Hello, this is Eric with Power Boom. Today I received a question in regards to the R12 and the sequencer working with the P1200. The particular question was, is how do I time Q1, Q2, and so on all the way up to 12 to different speeds? Well, we're going to answer that question along with another question as well. So, as far as programming and syncing the P12 and the excuse me the P1200 and the R12 that is already done so we're on district 04 and this is set to 04 so we have instructions for that so the first thing I want to show you is the set interval for the entire Q's 1 through 12 and I actually did this for my show this past year I actually used an R12 and I had it set to every half second and it went from 1 to 12 and I did that space my mind I had mines individual mines set out uh, the pro items at about 15 feet apart and uh, just nice little sequence as, uh, as it moved from 1 through 12. So let's go ahead and show you that now. So our system is on. I don't need the antenna because I'm so close. And I'm going to press mode and F1 is to do that. So F1 is set for each of the individual cues from 1 through 12. So in other words, the whole thing is set. In this case, notice here mode on F1, it's set to 0.2 seconds. So when I hit sequence, every two tenths of a second this is going to go off for the whole entire unit so as soon as I hit sequence it will fire the first cue so there is no uh, timing for the first one in other words when I hit this button it's going to go off and you can see that I just did the first three LEDs for this one I just got them taped here so you can see it but uh, also you might be able to see it in the video 1 through 12 so this will be every two seconds is going to go off and again this is for the whole board so I'm going to hit sequence now and let me see sequence and it fires the whole board or the whole R12 from 1 to 12 every two seconds now so that's F1 and to change that I'm gonna hit if I want to change the sequence see how it's on F1 I can hit shift and notice here this re each one represents uh, and this first one represents every 10 seconds obviously one second and then every uh, down to the tenth of a second so I'm gonna hit shift and I, if I hit up, so now it's going to do it every 10 seconds. So I just want to cycle. So let's say I want to do every half second for the whole thing. I'm going to shift. I'm going to up. So, oh, I need to set this to zero. I said half second. So I set this to zero. And I press up here. And I'm going to hit OK. Pretty simple. The whole thing now is set every half second with hitting sequence. The whole thing. Now, the question, particular question was, is how do I set each one individually? And this does take a little bit longer to do, but that is mode F2. So right now it's an F2 and you disappeared, but right, right now we're sitting on Q03 at 1.5 seconds. So let's say I want to set this Q. Now again, when I press one, this is instantly going to go off. So let me show you how to do this. I'm going to hit mode and I, I'm, just so you can see it, I'm in, I'm in F2 mode. I'm going to hit shift and this changes the Q. So I'm going to up. I'm going to actually loop all the way around to Q number one. So Q number one, when I hit sequence fire, it will go off instantly, number one. But the, for number one, it actually shows the delay afterwards. So in other words, when I hit sequence, it's going to wait, in this case, two seconds before it goes to Q number two. And let's go through this and see where the next one's at. So I'm going to shift, and I've hit up. So there's no down, it always goes up. So right now I'm on Q01. So it's going to be two seconds from one to two. I'm going to hit, I need to hit shift again because it timed out. Hit shift, I'm going to go to 02, and that's set at four seconds. So after I hit, after the sequence does it, it's going to go from two to three and four seconds, and you'll see that. And I'll try to count when I do the video. Again, it's timing out. So I'm going to hit shift, I'm going to go up, in this case, to go to key number three, it's going to be 1.5 seconds. And then the rest of them, oops, I shift. And I can change that by hitting shift. It's going to be the pre- I can actually, I'll tell you what, since I'm on that, I'll change that. So let's say 03, uh, the next few, I want to change that to, let's say, three seconds. So let's see, I'm in shift. I'm going to hit shift, I'm going to shift again. Shift, shift, up to three. Hit shift to move it. Of course, I hit OK, I'm a dummy. But then now, let's see, I need to back out. So I need to go through here. 8, 9, I was on 03. Shift, up, getting ahead of myself there. I apologize about that. See, I, I wanted to change it to 4 seconds. So I'm on 03, I'm going to shift, cycle through it. Up, 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 up. So 
Q number three is set at three seconds. I apologize. I don't even remember what I said. So I'm going to hit OK. And to get out of now, if I, I'm still in, we can let it time out. We'll let that do that now. Well, if it does time out, let me hit OK. I did find it. Of course, it timed down. So I'm going to go through these again. Uh, shift. I want to go through these, all of them. So I'm going to up. So Q number one is set to two seconds. You can see it takes a little bit of time. You just got to be patient with it. I'm being a little impatient. So Q number one is two seconds. Q number two is four. Q number three is three seconds. And then the rest of them is going to buzz all the way through because for this, and you can take the time to set each one uh, to set a uh, different inter interval. So it can do tenth of a second all the way up to 99 seconds, which is, uh, what is that, about a minute and 39 seconds or so. So let's go through these. No problem. Hit OK. Let me get out of this mode. Let me just time it out to, to force it to time out. I'm going to cycle all the way back through to F. I lose track of where I'm at again. F2. When I hit sequence fire, now each one is set, at least the first three we did. So let's watch what happens. You'll see the lights go off. And then once we get to these higher numbers, it'll just buzz through the rest of them. So I'm going to hit sequence. Key number one is instantly going to go off. And then you'll see the individual delays. So let's you'll see it especially on the LED. So let's hit sequence. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. That lasted six seconds. Maybe I went too fast. It then it buzzed through the rest of them there pretty quickly. So that's how you do it. You can see there's a lot of versatility with this thing. You just got to be really patient with the program and kind of take your time and go through and program each one. Per personally, I like the uh, I like to set them up all one through twelve, like I showed you with F1. But with F2, you can set that. And the only way to get this thing to work on F1 or F2 to make this thing to work is to is to hit the sequence fire button and you'll see it cycle through and we'll let it finish out the whole step and I think yeah it went so if I hit individual okay it does work I didn't know if it did or I couldn't remember but it works on individually as well but obviously you know one two three four so if you wanted to relight something or anything like that or something didn't go off and you say okay Q number three didn't go off well I'm gonna hit it hold it down but sequence fire is what you want for individually programming each queue. All right, thank you for watching. Hope this video helps you out.